Very good morning, guys. So how are you? Uh, so in today's session, we will see how we are going to create a linked list, like single, circular, double, and double circular linked list. So let's start with single linked list, that the creation of single linked list. Okay. Uh, so the basic idea is already, as you have seen my previous uh, sessions on linked list, like what is a linked list, what is the structure of linked list. So all those function implementation is basically based upon first how you create the linked list. Once your linked list is created, then you can apply those function. So this is this program basically helps to understand about how linked list gets created. So let's start with creation of linked list first. Okay. Now for linked list creation, as you all let's suppose this is my linked list which I'm going to create. I'm firstly talking about my single linked list. Right? So let's create this linked list. Let's suppose the address is 100 and this is 200 and this is 300. So what is the structure? As I already told you, the structure of single linked list is like your struct node. There is the in information part which contains the data and there is a pointer struct node star link which points to the next node and then there is a variable structure variable which always contains the address of first node. so this is my structure of single list. this is my link part this is my info part right now how you gonna create the link list so let's write a function first void create fine so now what i'm doing first i'm going to create this node so for this I need a pointer. So I require a pointer. I'm writing struct node star ptr. Then what I'm doing, I'm trying to allocate the memory to this ptr. So how you want to allocate the memory? Please refer to my previous session. Ptr is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node. Fine. Now once you write this, this gets created and this address gets assigned to a variable ptr. Now let me insert the info part of this so you can write scanf percentage d comma address ptr arrow info. So let me insert a value 10. Let's suppose 10 gets inserted. Now the best basic concept is like if you have created this node, you know there is a variable first pointer, right? This first pointer points to what? It points to the first node of a link list. So since you have created this first node, you want to assign the address of this first node to your variable which is first. So how are you going to do this? You simply write first is equal to ptr. So there is a variable first which gets assigned the address of your first node ptr. Fine, so your first node gets created. Now, next what we are going to do? We are going to create one node so that we make a proper linkage and let's suppose this is how we are going to make a link list. So for that, I require our node pointer, CPT. So let me run a loop. Let me run a loop and let's create our node. So let's suppose I am writing a loop do value. I have created this pointer CPT. So let me allocate the memory to the CPT. I am writing CPT is equal to again the same thing, struct node star malloc size of struct node. So once you write this, this blocks get created and let's suppose this is your CPT and you are entering the info part. So scanf percentage d comma address CPT arrow info. So let's suppose the info part I am entering 20. So this is my second node, this is my first node. Now tell me guys, if you want to make a link list, the link part of first node should contain the address of second node. It means I wanted 200 here and this is nothing but your link part of your PTR. So in the link part of your PTR, I want the address 200 which is nothing but my CPT. So I will write PTR arrow link is equal to CPT. So when I write PTR arrow link is equal to CPT, 200 gets inserted and there is a link. Now these two nodes are connected. Now let's suppose if I run a loop again. So if I run a loop again, so this will be my CPT and new node will be created. I will insert the info part. But then if I write this line PTR arrow link, my PTR is pointing at 100. 100 arrow link is equal to CPT. So this node will be connected to the third node. So the second link 
between the link between the first and second is lost. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna move the PTR which is pointing to 100. Now this PTR should point to what? It should point to 200. So for this, what you have to do? You have to write a simple line, simple syntax that PTR is equal to CPT. So when you write PTR is equal to CPT, after this line, your PTR points to 200. Right. So let's suppose after this, suppose you write printf press y for more nodes. Right. And let's suppose if you are pressing y, you are storing that y with the help of get ch function. Get ch and you are storing that to a character variable, let's suppose ch. So let me take a character variable, get ch. Right. And after this, I am writing that while ch is equal to equal to y, or you can say ch is equal to equal to capital Y. If both the condition are true, then you are going to run that. So let's suppose I press a y and then this do y loop again execute. So this becomes my CPT. A new node is created. This is my CPT. I will insert the info part 30. Now since this has become PTR after the statement PTR is equal to CPT. So PTR arrow link is equal to CPT. So here comes 300 and there is a link between this and this and then again you are moving the PTR. So now your PTR is pointing to 300. Let's suppose you press again, you press a Y. So again a new node is created. Let's suppose the input part is 40 and this becomes your CPT. So again PTR arrow link is equal to CPT. Here comes your 400 and this gets connected. Now let's suppose after this you press suppose N. So the value of CH is N. So this condition becomes false and you will come out of the loop. So once you come out of the loop, you know that this is your last one. If this is the last one, the link part should contain what? So after this line, you just add a simple statement that PTR arrow link is equal to nothing. That's it. This will create your single link list. Now, almost the entire code is same for a circular link list, but only one change is required in a circular link list, and that change is nothing. But you know that the link part of the last one should contain the address of first note. So this code is for single link list, but if you convert, if you like, if you're going to change this line, if you're going to change this, if you write that PTR arrow link is equal to first. If you write PTR arrow link is equal to first, this becomes code for your circular link. Because in circular link is the link part of last node should contain the address of first node. So abhi, yaha pe nahi hai because this is the creation of single link list. We want to change it to circular link list, simply replace this line with this line that PTR arrow link is equal to first. So now here it is 100, so this code is for circular link list and this code is for single link list. I hope it is clear guys, right? So if you are thinking that this channel is worth for your prepare, preparation for the placement or even for the understanding of the basic data structure C and later on like I will be adding C++, Java and many more videos because this is the starting phase of my channel. It's been just 8 to 10 days I have started my channel. So if you are thinking that guys these things are worth it so please yeah, do subscribe my channel and please like and share. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.